Hi, Andy here with Prince Manufacturing. We are a cylinder and valve manufacturer with 70 years of expertise. Have you ever had to wait for a quote or even a complete custom cylinder from your current supplier? Waiting for answers can cause added stress that you really do not need. Prince has created a build your own cylinder program, which is a web-based portal, also known as CPQ, custom pricing quote. As we walk through this portal, you will see how you can create your cylinder and get immediate pricing along with two and 3D models within minutes. Let's begin. Okay, as you can see here, I am on the home page of our portal. All customers will be listed under the customer tab, uh, but right now I'm gonna leave it blank and I'm gonna just go down here to the select your item, which as you see brings up our new Magnum line, which is our new welded cylinder model. Tie rod cylinders, along with valves. We're going to start with the Magnum first. Configure. As you see, it starts out with the bore size first. This new Magnum line currently is offered two to four inch bores. Two, two and a half, three, three and a half, and four. We're going to configure a three inch. The next step is a stroke. My second tab is the stroke of the cylinder. Pick your own stroke. As you see on this three inch, we offer from a six inch stroke, one, one inch increments, and it goes all the way up to 48 inch. Uh, this example, let's just pick a 20 inch stroke. As you noticed, it defaulted and filled in all the other criteria. The reason it did that is this actually is our standard model that we will stock. A three by 20, clevis mounts, and so forth. As we go through the other options, the next two are your end fittings. This first one is your base end. Once again, it defaulted to a clevis, but as you see, your options are a cross tube or a clevis. We're gonna just stick with the clevis for now. Uh, the next one is your rod end fitting. We're giving you three options on this one here. The clevis along with a short cross tube, which is just the width of the rod and what we call a longer cross tube. We'll leave it at the clevis. The next one is the rod diameter. As you see, the default was an inch and three eighths up to an inch and three quarters. We'll just leave it as is. The next option is the rod plating. Uh, we have standard chrome. We also give you an option of induction hardened chromed. Once again, we'll just leave that as is. The ports, it defaults what we call top ports but we also give you an option of side ports, which are in line with your pinholes, if that helps you out. We'll leave that as is. There is a place where you can enter your own part number under this tab here. But once you're done filling out all the criteria here, you can kind of monitor on the right side of the screen. It displays what you chose. If you click on the other tab up here, it displays pricing for each option you chose. And once you're finished in the end, it'll give you a estimated weight of your cylinder. Tells you what the retract will be. Very important. Gives you a part number, which is the PC number you see there, along with pricing. There's your immediate pricing and it's quantity based one up to a hundred piece quantity based pricing and this is list price uh, you customers will have to uh, just apply your discount to that if all looks fine you can go over here and download your model this will take a few minutes and once you click on the create model um, it'll uh, it'll take a few minutes here but uh, the cylinder in action actually tells you that it's uh, that it's moving it's uh, it's working once this is completed, you're going to notice the 3D model will appear first. 
if you choose to uh, print or review a 2D, a PDF, that will be displayed as well. And there you have it. There's your 3D model. And this tab up here will create your PDF. That is the 3x20 we just configured based off our new Magnum line. Go to, let's configure a stack valve. And after you select valve, we will configure just like our cylinder model. And your first page you will notice is what type of valve do you want to configure? Uh, we have a number of different options here from loader valves to monoblocks to selectors, but we're going to do a stack valve. How many pieces do you want to configure in your shipment? Well, we'll just go to one to 10. As you can see, we have uh, up to 25 plus. The next tab is what valve do you wish to configure? We have a 12 gallon and a 20 gallon stack valve. We'll stick with the 12. Which type? We give you a non-proportional or a proportional type stack valve. We're going to choose the non. We're giving you an option if you want paint on it or not. If no paint, it just comes raw cast. We start out with our inlet cover. Once again, a couple more options. We give you a flow control inlet or we give you a standard inlet. We're going to stick with the standard. And as you noticed, it filled in each category, which is, uh, which is our standard inlet that we inventory. But you can go through and you can choose different options if you wish. Number eight ports versus number 10. Under your uh, relief options, there's four different options to choose from there. It defaults to our standard 1500 to 3000 PSI. And if you want a special setting, once again, it defaults to what we do. Once you're done there, you click continue. And now you're onto your work sections. How many work sections it's asking you? We're gonna just do one for now. And you have to click continue. What type of work section? Three different options. We're gonna stick with the manual for now. We have a mid inlet and we also give you a solenoid option. Defaults fills in all the categories as our standard model. But once again, a number of different options to choose from. Work section spool type basically from fine metering to series sections. We're gonna just stick with the standard for now. Port, port sizes, a couple different options as you see there. The next one is your spool type. As you see, we have three-way, which is single acting, four-way double acting. We give you a motor spool, we give you a float position. The next one is your attachments from spring-centered to detented um, detent one way, spring the other, but a number of different options as you see listed there. And as for your handle, you know, once again, we chose a manual section, so we've got a number of different handle options to offer you. Enclosed, adjustable, no handle, vertical, we're going to just leave it straight as is. There's your one work section we chose to configure. Continue. Now we're under our outlet cover. Once again, it uh, defaulted and filled in all your standard options. But uh, you have port size, once again, options, a couple different to choose from. The exhaust option, that is either open center, closed center, plug, power beyond sleeve. That's what that is. Once you're through there, you continue again. And as you see on the right side, what you chose, it shows you right there. So it's kind of just a quick reference here. But once, you, uh, once you're once you finished, you can click finish. And you can see it actually added it 
to the quote page that you started to create. Your list price over here, you can apply your discount, whatever that may be. You can type in your quantity, but that is a stack valve assembly. If there was something in this program you noticed, please give us a call today at 605-235-1220 or reach out on our website at www.princehide.com. Thank you for watching.